Is anyone else disturbed by the fact that we are literally sharing a room with a decomposing human corpse? Eh, whatever. Hey everybody, I'm TBG Hunter, and welcome back to more Costume Quest 2. Last time, we got the timepiece back, and also got one of the most adorable costumes in the world, the hot dog costume. I also... Huh, Chicago-style Cerberus. That's... That's actually a pretty clever name for it, for the upgrade. Um, we got the upgrade for it, of course, and we also uh, sadly lost Haley as our party members, and also sadly she's gone for the rest of the game. Now you might be thinking we're going to go back to the past, and no, not to play shitty games that suck ass. We're actually going to go back to uh, New Repugo. The reason is because we actually got a mission for Corvus. Well, we had a mission for him for a while now, but I think this was the only time now we could actually go back to uh, Repugo. Uh, Shady's got a bunch of stuff. Does he have anything new? No, he does not. And not like I could do anything with it. I only have two pieces of candy. I should probably get some more. Probably should have grinded it in between, but eh, who cares. I do plan on showing all of, like, the new versions of the costumes before this series ends, so... Don't you worry. Also, I did not mean to come up here. Go back into the sewers, you idiot. Be like a ninja turtle. But go this way, out of the sewers, into the neighborhood, and almost went past the house. There we go. Hey, look at Haley's back. Sorry at the bailing, you guys. I can't leave my parents. They need me. Did you have the talisman? We're counting on you guys. Not sure if I'm going to be able to fix it. I found the talisman yet. Jeez, it's like it's the only thing on everyone's mind. Jeez, settle down, I'll get your damn talisman. Hey, Corvus. Hello again. I assume you want me to teach you some more combat techniques. Well, you are so good at fighting now, I don't really have any more combat techniques left to teach you. But I do have one more thing I can give you. My sister got me a special meter efficiency mod for my birthday. She didn't know that I already had it, the mod, so I'm going to re-gift it to you. Just don't tell my sister. You now have a special meter mod. Your special meter will fill up much faster. That mod will fill your special meter. Thanks, Corvus, for stating the obvious, even though the little pop-up just told me that. You're lucky that the mod shop is, has a terrible rep return policy. Anyway, I guess that's all I can do for you, kid. Good luck out there. And, well, easiest quest completed. Just had to go back to talk to Corvus, and now we got an upgrade for our little special meter. So now we can do... Um... More special attacks faster. Probably should have gotten that before we went and fought the gauntlet of annoying enemies, but eh, who cares. There's still a bit more game left before we take on the final boss and finish this game, so don't you worry. Also, I actually really like the, the loading screens for this area. Eh, whatever. Back to the past. I do hope in the next Costume Quest game, if they actually do decide to do it, which... To be honest, I highly doubt. They finally give us the banana costume and... Holy moly! I found my secret hiding spot, okay? Don't tell anyone about it, okay? Okay. I just found this piece of candy down here in the sewer. I've been debating, but I think I'm gonna eat it. Do you think it's a bad idea? I think it's probably fine. I wouldn't if I were you. Who knows where it's been? Oh, I see. You just want it for yourself. Get away from me. Hmm. You know... The fact that you're a skeleton, the fact that you're roughly the size of the decomposing human corpse we found in the future, and the fact that you're in the exact same spot where we found it, I'm pretty sure we know how he, that skeleton got there. I don't know why you would want to eat candy you found in a sewer. It's Halloween. There's tons of candy up there for free. That's true. What was I thinking? Guess I got a little obsessed sometimes. Here, you take it. I don't want it anymore. And anyway, now we got a piece of mysterious candy. And I'm just gonna... Boop. That seems like the wisest thing to do, right? Just stick a random piece of colorful candy right into the... Right into the ground. Uh, didn't... Yet. Alright, back to hot dog, because hot dog is the most adorable thing ever. Back up to the surface. And pop out right in the middle of the French Quarter. How are we supposed to find Oral? Well, maybe we can ask around. And what if we, what if we do? Will he come back with us? 
Well, he might as well start at his house, right? And... I don't know why I was switching around. I thought there was like a side quest you could do for that, but eh, whatever. Hey, banana boy. Somewhere keep the braces following me. If I give him... Eh, get out of here. Is this the right path? Or is it? It is. What now? Hot dog gram. <laughs> See? Waste of time. Hmm? Let's look for clues. Hmm. Well, the best bet to look for clues is always to pull out our trusty handy dandy little nightlight because it's not weird because we got a cells of glow stick. It doesn't really act like a black light, but whatever. Let's lean back up to the French Quarter, so we'll have to let's see. Let's go in this way. Looks like he went right into that house over there. So first things first, talk to Shady, see if he has anything for us. Does he or does he not? He doesn't have anything new. It didn't even matter, I only have 12 pieces of candy, but still, but still. On the path, it seems like nothing new's come up yet. Until we realize, hey, check who's somehow managed to get to the other side of this building from here, even though he has no means of doing so. Also, I don't think that's how zip lines work. Doesn't it need to be on like a lower thing and not like literally direct across? Oh, whatever, I'm putting too much thought into this. Hey, Oral. Oral, what are you doing here? Okay, so I snacked someone else's candy. But my mom won't let me trick or treat. What am I supposed to do? Am I s and she keeps making me brush my teeth for no reason. Who wants to live in a world without candy? Or when all the de or with all that dental hygiene? It's funny you say that. Yeah, how would you like to put an end to all of that? I'm not doing anything mean to my mom, if that's what you mean. No, no, we just need your help with something. Would I get to wear co costumes like you guys? Sure, you can wear a costume, we just need your eyes on something. Say no more, I'm coming with you guys. And that's all there is to it. How ironic Oro gets to dress up as candy. Wow, rag cup! I'm not even going to dignify that one. That costume looks pretty good on you. You're making it too easy, game! Trick or treat! Haha, <laughs> yes! Okay, okay, let's get back. Oral, I'm gonna give you a real Halloween costume. I'm gonna make you a ghost. A, you can hide your braces. And B, eh, I might let you have the Candy King costume sometime in the future. Screw physics! Oral, Oral, thank you. Unless you have a plan to get rid of. Hmm. Both of you statue, both of you statues are pretty good performers, but you're cutting into each other's business. Why don't you join forces? You'll have double the appeal and no competition. Hmm. That's not a bad idea, really. We've been making banks since we joined up with the Silverado. Word to your mother. Goldie is funky fresh. People love our moves. We're gonna be rich. Hmm. I don't know if that actually does something yet. You know what? Reynold, you take him. Earl's ghost. I'm hot dog, of course. I want to do something, so I need someone to hold my beer real quick. I Selton. I want to travel all the way back to... The first part about you. If you remember back then, you saw we talked to a kid who said he wanted to make it rich in the candy thing. So of course, I think that none of the monsters spawn again because technically their business here is done. And looks like I am right, so we don't have to worry about a random encounter. And if so, I will eat my hat. And where I want to go is all the way over here. Hello, I'm the future richest person in the world. Is that right? Yep, one day I'm gonna dredge up this dampy swamp and cover it with treat houses. Or, tract houses. 
I need to get semi-rich first, though. It takes money to make money, you know? Well, good luck with that. You look like a savvy investor to me. If you want me to make some candy, come talk to me later. And you'll be back. My drenching plan to clear is a clear money maker. How much candy do you want to invest? You can't buy land with candy. I have a system to convert candy to money. Just leave the business side to me. If you give me, say, 200 pieces of candy, I'll do it for you. I will pay you back with crazy interest with my project is done. What do you say? Sounds interesting, but we don't have that kind of candy. Time for random smacking things because I only have... What? How many pieces of candy do I have? 12 pieces. So I'm going to cut real quick until I can hit the 200 quota. Trust me, you want to invest 200 pieces of candy with that kid. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good hat. So, yeah. I decided to eat my hat anyways because there was actually a baddie that I came across that I guess I missed in my initial sweep way back in the beginning of the series. Oh, hello, kid. Do you have anything? Yeah. Anyways, I finally hit my quota. Actually, went a little bit over it. So, let's talk to the kid. Pay him the 200 pieces of candy. Brilliant! This will be enough to get m my permits. Just one... Just a few more years until I'm old enough to file for them. What? You cheated us! Be patient. We'll get your candy bag and with some... And then some. Keep good in the books, and he gives us an IOU. Now you might be wondering, what the hell, man? Why did you just give us an IOU? Why do we have to now play the waiting game? Do we actually have to wait? Well, first things first, shut up. And second thing is that if we head back to the future, because remember, we're time travelers! We may make good on that IOU, and maybe we'll get some interest for that sizable donation, even though it wasn't really much sizable. Now, if it was 400, that would be sizable. Sadly, no. Time to go to the future. And, you know what? I just realized, if you notice, we taught that kid... Well, first things first. Lovely little tree that we got. We actually beat it. We actually get some candy from it. The fact that we talked that kid out of eating that piece of candy down here, that can only mean he poisoned himself and literally a child died down here. Wow, Double Fine, that is dark. That is really dark for a happy-go-lucky game like this. We literally just prevented a child's death just by talking to him. I just realized that Rin has a bad hair clip in this little loading screen. That's kind of adorable. But wow, Double Fine. You're kind of hardcore. Anyways, where we want to go in the future, in the little neighborhood, is we want to go back to the little uh, playground area, because this guy looks a little familiar. What's your sob story? Well, would you believe I built all this? Everything you see around you. I used to be, it used to be beautiful until Oral messed everything up. Uh, x on the Oral K, younger Sophie with the... What happened? I drifted the swamp while I go build, build a development I called Auburn Pines. It was spectacular. It made me super rich. Then Oral had this crazy idea to build a city next to Auburn Pines. It was going to be the futuristic metropolis. You see that crazy over there? That city over there? That's it. I built that for him. And when I was done, he bought it. He brought in a bunch of monsters to live there. And kick the humans out. Can you believe that? We've met him. We can't believe it. Uh, Ren, x on the Oral K. He's with us, eh? Well, now I'm broke. There's no business here anymore. I guess I, that means you won't be honoring this IOU? Where did you get that? You gave it to us. I don't remember that, but I will honor it. I don't have tons of money, but I have tons of candy. I'm a, I'm a candy runner for Sadie's Speed. Speakeasy. Here you go. For that, we get over if the well, we get over a thousand pieces of candy. Sadly, not enough to get a uh, new upgrade. But you know what? If you need a sizable candy, especially early in the game, because you can actually do that side quest like near the beginning of the game, so you could get and you could get it your initial time coming here. Uh, do so, and that will give you a good boost in candy. It's not a big side quest, and I thought the payoff would have been a little bit heavy, but eh, what can you do? 
Back up to the compound. Look at what you've done, Oro. Look at it! Look at it! I want all of you to look at it! Well, just you in particular. You know, the fact that if any of the guards actually defeat Oro in, in a battle, wouldn't that mean all this would just literally go... Trick or treat! Oh my, your costume is incredible. Here's some candy. Oh goody, I got a peanut butter bomb. Well, there goes all the dignity he used to have. Hey Oro, your costume is ridiculously awesome. Thanks, yours isn't so bad yet. Hey Oro, your costume is ridiculous. <laughs> Hey, Oro, your costume is ridiculous. Hey, Oro, your costume is ridiculous. Shut up! Trick or treat. Your costume is so cute. Take this. What the? What do I pay you bird brains for? This is all wrong! Fix these robots at once or I'll send you back to Rebuka. I'll be in my mansion. Let me know when it's ready. <laughs> what a pathetic nutcase. Who is that guy? That's you, Oro. That's your future self. His eyes dilated at that thought. Oh, I never noticed that! So that was me I saw steal that doll from those witches? How did I get so crazy? You weren't allowed to trick or treat, Oral. That would make anyone crazy. I don't want to be crazy. How do I fix it? That doll that you took is the talisman that keeps monsters out of the world. We need to sneak back into your house and get, get it back. If that's what it takes, then let's do it. I have to kick my own ass and I'll do it... Gladly. I don't know. And if you check it out, each of the cutout standees here, they're all references to the first costume quest's costume. So we got the ninja costume, we got the vampire costume, uh, back there's the scarecrow, there's the, there's the spaceman. It's it's a nice little callback area. And sadly we got guards running around here. Like over there's the cat costume, there's what I can only presume, yep, the knight costume. So, yeah, we get to do one last set of trick or Hey, you weren't a main costume in the first game. You were, though, so you get a pass. Get some candy back here real quick. Now, if memory serves, there is actually a bit of an Easter egg in this area. And you wouldn't know it if you were just going through it initially, unless you were, like, doing a full exploration, leave no stone unturned, no cardboard cutout unknocked over. Anyways, let's trick or treat. We already know this is an actual robot. You can actually use the uh, the cutscene to help you. You win best costume of Halloween Oro. Oh my god, we killed it! Hey, we got a servo. Don't sue me! Trick or treat. 20 bucks says this is gonna be a fight. I'll get my 20 bucks. You win best costume, Oro. Smack you. Sadly, he doesn't have anything, so have to keep looking around. Of course. Of course, they wouldn't put an invisible wall to keep you from accidentally falling off the edge, because that wouldn't be sensible, game. You are so cool, Oro. I wish I was like you, Oro. <laughs> Damage detected. Repair ticket transmitted. I never actually smacked those things. I didn't know they actually do something like that. Wow, great costume. You went Halloween, Oral. You know, the fact that Oral is with us, that I bet that just makes him so happy because he's technically trick-or-treating. And everyone's complimenting on him on his costume. You are so cool and handsome. Here's some candy. That is one handsome hot dog, I must agree. 
What does it say? Or all the costume is better than mine by many orders of magnitude. Well, to be fair, Candy... Uh, don't, don't beat yourself up. Cardboard cutout with a recording of a child's voice that's somehow strangely roboticized. I'm sure... Don't you know Candy Corn is the greatest costume of this generation? You are a cute e or a y d d s. Sadly, they don't drop candy, which would have just made things too easy. I guess because technically they count as NPCs, even though they're just literally cardboard cutouts that are just a reference to the old, the last game. Now we can start now that you are here, Oral. Hey, don't mind me, just three cutouts talking to one other cutout. Tricks and treats. Is every single one of these going to be a robot? I know that for a fact that there is a guard hiding behind one of these. And are any of you actually going to give me a part, or am I just lucky with that first one? I wish you were my child, or a white DDS. Man, if only all trick or treating in costume. Yep, oh, yep, got another piece of costume, some wires. I think you're getting an idea of what we're gonna be building with this, and sadly, it's not also what you're thinking. Hey, check it out, it's the little scarecrow that from the first game that gave us the. the jack o' lantern costume, scarecrow costume, whatever you wanna call it. Did I go to this house? No, I did not. Knock on the door. Do we get some more candy or do we get into a fight? More candy! I wish you were my child or a white DDS. So we've gotten a servo and some wires. Oh, one can only tell which what we might be getting in the end. I am so proud of you, Oral. You are mommy's little sweetie. Now if we head back here. Go behind this little thing. It's kind of hard to see with like the darkness and stuff. Head down here and check it out. Any fan of Cartoon Hangover is probably freaking out right now because yes, this is indeed a reference to being Puppy Cat. He looks like a cat, but he smells like a dog. Damage to Devin. Prepare to get transmitted. Meow, meow, meow. Huh, it actually makes the sound. But yeah, that's a that's a nice little Easter egg they put back here. It's adorable. I still need, I need to rewatch *Being Puppy Cat*. It, it's been ages since I've seen it. Hey, check it out! It's the most hilarious costume in the first game. Dentistry is the coolest. Let's see. That's what the hell is that supposed to be? Can't. Oh, and hey, another reference. Maybe this is a reference to another Double Fine game. I'm betting it's another Double Fine reference. Air playline corrupted. Please reboot, child. Okay, seriously. Uh, Tim Schafer, if you're watching this, which I highly doubt, or anyone from Double Fine actually watching this LP, please give us a Psychonauts costume in, in the third game if you actually do come out with it, but please do. I mean, you gave us little big. You gave the PS3 users little big planet, and well, anyone from PlayStation gave them Sackboy from Little Big Planet. How could you be so cool, Oral? But yeah, please, for the love of everything in the universe, give us a Psychonauts costume for Costume Quest 3. Or even if you decide to do a DLC with this, even though I doubt it because it's been, what, a year and a half since this game came out? Maybe two years? Trick or treat. Hey, be a puppy cat decided to do a little sneak peek again. I guess this is also a way to say, oh, it's them. It's the thing. All right, I know that there's a guard hiding, walking around. Yep, there he is. Sneak around. Thank you very much. I probably should have smacked those robots back here just to make sure they had the robot part that I was looking for. Only one child. Oh, case report, Well, I I screwed that up big time. Another piece of candy. 
Trick or treat. Arlo, you stuck? Are you still stuck on that cardboard cutout? You're probably the best kid in the black world. Nothing from you. What's this? What's the psychonauts one say? You are bad, Arlo. That is a no-brainer. Nothing from you. Okay. Up oh, there we go. Robot torso. I I literally just ripped the body off of this thing, even though it's still there. I I managed to clone a body, rip it off, and then take it with me. Uh, sadly, we don't have anything. Know what to do with these until grab the schematics for it. And now we have a robot costume. Before you ask. Yes, the robot costume is basically the grubbing costume from the first game. Did you did you finish that robot? Finish building that personal flash robot for Overlord White yet? No, I thought you were supposed to fix that trick or treat. Robots now. Look, I gotta deliver a personal flash robot to Doctor White's house before I go home. Don't make me work overtime again. I don't have a flash robot ready, and I'm not changing changing gears. Just put any stupid robot in the crate and I'll take responsibility. Go find your own robot. I'm not getting fired. Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted to explore a bit more. Eh, yeah, well. Dude, you finished Overlord's White Frost Robot? I did? I gotta get this to Overlord White's house right away. I got it. I got your personal Frost Robot. Put it in the bedroom. I need to go get measurements. Sure thing, Overlord White. Wow, that was some really fast text. Uh, ah. How the hell did you... Wow, this box got a hell of a lot bigger than it showed in the cutscene. Also, how the hell did you two hide from it? Also, uh, love... There's the turtle costume, which I'm pretty sure is all, still a, re um, a failed costume design that they wanted to put in the game, but didn't have a way of incorporating it. And we got, we got a drawing of his house. We got, he seems to be a huge fan of candy corn. We got a picture of candy corn. We got a candy corn bed. I kind of want that for my bed for next Halloween. Got ourselves a talisman. We got the talisman, guys. Now what? Now we get out of here before Dr. White gets back. Well, doesn't seem to be any way out. We see what looks like a zip line over there. No doors. So what do we do? We zip our way out of here, of course. Oops. Uh oh. And look what that thing fell right in front of. Of all people that we could have dropped that thing in front of, it had to be him. Now, you might be thinking, we're going to go get that. And you would be sadly mistaken. We're going back to the dental compound because we want to talk to this guy over here. Talking to him. Are you those human kids that Overlord White hates? Maybe. It's okay. I'm actually... I actually do not care. I'm in the middle of gardening. I was given gardening detail because I have a green thumb. All Grubbins have green thumbs. I do not know why... D'Artagnan got it singled out. Eh, 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 his name's a pun. It's not a bad gig, I guess. I just have to fertilize on stuff. Giggity. You were from the past, right? D'Artagnan remembers the past sometimes. I used to watch movies when I first came through to Monster Gate. I like movies. There's one movie that made D'Artagnan very happy. It was called, uh, it was one of those D'Artagnan, it's on the tip of D'Artagnan's tongue. We watch a lot of movies. Maybe we could help you remember that movie you liked. Why would human children take time to help D'Artagnan? Maybe if we help you remember, you might lend us some fertilizer. Hmm, D'Artagnan could see that happening, maybe. Great. What can you tell us about the movie? It was D'Artagnan's favorite movie to look at. But the only thing I remember right now was eating tasty hot dogs in the theater. D'Artagnan is a visual creature. Maybe if you found a hot dog, it, it might jog my memory. Hot dog, you say? How about a Chicago-style hot dog? 
Wow, that hot dog has a lot of fixins, just like the ones Tertanian used to eat when he watched my, f when watching my favorite movie. It reminds me of that hero the movie had, was an athlete or something. He jumped over buildings and felt like it. It's so funny or stupid, sad. I can't remember. Tertanian needs another visual. Maybe a solar superhero. Hey, what happened to that hot dog costume? Okay. Um, uh, Reynolds. Hot dog. Hey, that looks just like the Hero Man. That orange mask makes me... Re reminds me of that scene with the monster. There was a monster earlier caressing his hair or swinging him around by it. Tan can't re remember, remember exactly. Fuck, I can't talk tonight. But speaking of hair, the movie monster was very hairy and people were scared of him. I don't know why people think hair is scary. That's That never sat right with Tertanian, actually. But it feels like... But this feels like progress. The name wants to come back to the tip of my tongue. Hmm, well we need a Harry costume. And the only thing Harry? Well, it could be the wizard because of a hairy beard. It could be the afro from the Harry, Harry like, rainbow clown. But I think the most hairiest out of all of them has to be Teen Wolf. That's it! That Teenage Wolfman outfit is identical to the one in my movie. It's all coming back to me. D'Artagnan got hot dogs with many fixings before the movie, then it started with with a hero man that fell out of the sun. He would play basketball on weekends with a teenage wolf man. They found out they were in love with the same girl and got sad, but she turned out to be an evil villain and tricked them. She put the hero man in a dark box and put fleas on teenage wolf man. I don't think we saw that one. How did it end? The ending was weird. It was just a list of names scrolling on blackness. But you helped D'Artagnan remember what it's called. It came after the scrolling list. It was called... THE END! A deal's a deal. Here's D'Artagnan's leftover fertilizer. Thanks, D'Artagnan. Now, I might as well show off the robot the robot costume. If you're thinking, eh, what can it do? It can't do anything. There's only one way we can show it off in battle, and that's, I guess, spoilers out of the way, it's with the final boss. However, we don't have to worry about any random encounters with from these dental drones, because like the grubbing costume from the first game, it will pretty much just uh, have all monsters in the field ignore us. And that's very helpful, because of what we're going to be doing. There's a kid again. I'll apply a little fertilizer to this plant right here. And have that plant... Wow! I didn't know fertilizer was like plant steroids, because holy hell that thing beefed up. Back to the future, and... It's funny I referenced that movie the same year that Back to the Future 2 takes place, and holy moly! Talk about a green thumb, kids. Head out over here. Bypass these dumb robots. We want to head up into here, to the back into the research lab. First things first, talk to this guy. How'd you find me? Where's were my teeth too white? Maybe. We're missing two more kids. We gotta find it before this series ends. I think I have an idea where the next one is. But anyways, we want to go over here. Check it out. Remember that small tree that became a semi-big tree that then beefed up? Well, this is what's become now. Yep. Oh, All the camera world. Going, going, and going. Oh my gosh, it's going. Oh my gosh, it's going. And what's the camera going? Going, and two other elves. And soon, it's going to be I think we're too high. I think we're too high. I think we went too high. I think we went a little too high. Anyways, open the chest, and we get the last costume in the game, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves the solar system. This is probably by far the most hilarious costume in the game. The solar system kind of like, well, much like the ghost, is focused on defense, which is weird. We have two costumes that are the same focus, but this is more of a, hey, you did this much side quest, so here you go. 
15 attack and 10 damage. And finally, Jefferson can finally take a break because we now have a costume that is actually strong against tech enemies. Sad thing is we can't show the floss robot because it don't can't be equipped to Oral or Reynold, sadly. But I think we'll get into one fight, and no, I am not skating my way back here. We're just going to go and, you know, crush our bodies into oblivion. Leave craters the size of Manhattan. But we're going to get into one fight, and my mom got scared and said we're moving with our auntie and uncle in Bel Air. But after that fight, we're going to end it off. And lo and behold, I believe there is a fight over here. Yep, there it is. For things first, of course, always break, break pinatas when you see them. Sneak up on the robot, power off, and let's show off this absolutely hilarious costume. Behold, I have become the universe. You will be willing to subjects of my power. Unfortunately, we can't really show off our special ability yet, but you know, we'll show it off in a little bit. Attack, my minions! Yes, we literally send a fleet to go after enemies. It's amazing. And then a battleship comes out of hyperspace and finishes it off with its second attack. It, this costume is just out, outright amazing. One could say this costume is out of this world, and I did not mean to use the hot dog special ability. Damn it. Alright, Teen Wolf, you beat the crap out of that robot. Alright. Riven Chomper is scratched. Ah. Did the, was the galaxy ready to sacrifice Saturn and Jupiter to protect itself? Wow, I did not actually try to counter with, with the solar system before. Alright, it's time for the, the best little, I guess you could say, special ability in the game. No! Uh, roger that, we are entering the enemy atmosphere. You may fire when ready. It's as if a million voices cried out in fear and then were silenced. Meanwhile, I'm just laughing myself to death on the inside. Galaxy doesn't need to take anyone's shit because it just floats there. Wow, you really got your ass kicked from that. Alright. So, I think that's gonna do it for this part. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna head over here real quick. No! Huh. Oh, wait. Nope. Still more. Still more! I remember right, there is a kid hiding up here. Or, there could be a chest. That has a creepy tree card. That's Felina Lanes, huh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is gonna end it off here. I'm going to, while in between parts, find out where the last two kids are hiding out in the compound, and then it's off to the final boss. I'll probably do, be doing a crap ton of grinding so that I can get and show off the last... How many costume upgrades are there? There's... Solar System upgrade, Jumble Black Marker. Scribble all over your sun to make a black hole. You know what? Screw it. I don't think I've actually ever seen the Solar System upgrade. Let's see what it looks like. Huh. That's kind of cool looking, actually. Alright. So, until then, I will see you guys next time. Later.